Good morning, good morning. All right, so today we are at Duvel. Duvel is a very famous brewery here in Belgium. So we got about a two and a half hour tour, have a tasting, and uh, hopefully we'll taste some delicious beers and get some swag. I feel so professional. You got your jacket. Ready for the tour. We got the Duval. Duval, I've been saying it wrong. It's not Duval, it's Duval. Well, in a Viking tavern and everywhere near, everybody loves you a little bit. I buy a round, let's all toast. Belgian beer on the Flemish coast. Belgian beer boogie. Double, triple, Belgian beer boogie. Double, triple, Belgian beer at the Viking Tavern today. Some people love their caramel eat, and Lefe Blonde is oh so sweet. Belgian beer is the best I say. Drink Jubilee pills every day. It's a Belgian beer boogie. Double, triple, Belgian beer boogie. Double, triple, Belgian beer. We can invest and work hard on our beer. If afterwards it's been poured badly or wrong, mm -hmm. everything falls uh, down the drain, of course. So, so we start off with our glass, our beautiful glass. We Belgians, we drink our, our beers in the right glass. We go to France, they pour it in wine glasses and all that. Like, mm -hmm. The problem is too expensive. Yeah, we actually have a specially designed glass. You have to think about like 1923 to 1960. We poured it in a glass like this. Yeah. But with the high CO2 level in here, they probably messed up their beer a lot. So in the 1960s, they got to think about like how we're going to contain our beer and to let it sit right. So they inspired this glass on a Bourgogne glass. It's actually a red wine glass in yes. France. That's why the big bowl is here to keep the beer in. Also because we can form a nice head, keep the aroma in, of course. What's special about it is we have an engraving on the bottom. It's a D. It used to be dots, it used to be lines. Now it's a D. This is where Actually, the carbonization breaks down, so we get our tornado. That's what we see in every commercial. When we pour, I see a lot of people pouring like this, like this, and you don't see what you're doing. It's a little bit of a, I know, a little bit of a show uh, level, but I always, we always pour like this. Okay. At eye heights, because you can see what you're doing. Okay. We pour slow. We don't go pour fast, because otherwise the taste changes again. And this beer take, took about 90 days to get in our hands treat it that way. <laughs> so we pour at an angle of 45 degrees, real slow. We start at the side so we can contain our foam. People want a big head on their beer, that's fine. You can just set it upright. And you see the head is growing. A lot of and I always stop two fingers from the end. We, we, designed, we designed the yeast that way. But if you pour it in one go, the yeast sticks to the bottom. We're the only beer in the world that can do that. Because of the second fermenting, we let it sit so long. But if you stop two fingers before the end, okay. and you swirl, so that means the beer is swirling and loosening up the yeast. So I have this little one here. See? This is not see-through at all, okay? So I've loosened up the yeast. What does this do? This makes an, an extra bitterness, yeah, an extra smell round it's taste. Different. It's a, like the really yeast character of Duvel is in there. So I always tell people, taste it like this, and then add this. Ah, I never add it. Like I made my job That's pretty good. My favorite beer in the world. Every time they ask me, what's your favorite beer? 
Alright, Kara's got the Brasserie La Chouf. It's a cute little glass. It's got a little gnome on it. Kara loved it. It's very good. Two thumbs up, very nice. <laughs> what is this? And I had the Leafman's Golden Bond Gold Band. Mm, it is like a heritage I've beer. I've smelled before. Oh, look, I got it on my nose. <laughs> I think it smells like success and winning. Ooh, I like it. Let me try that. Kara likes the Belgian beers. See, you give me sours all the time and they're not good like that. It's so smooth. That's so good. 8% good. Wow. We're gonna have to walk back to the, uh, the town. Okay, we've made it to the Conic Brewery here in Antwerp. Looks like we hit it right at the right time. The party is jumping, jumping. So I think we're gonna get a tour here by the, one of the head brewers, so this is gonna be great. Incredible. Yeah, yeah. So, and so every butcher has his fridge, so this one also has one, but like I told, everyone, everything has to be visible, so it's his boss. Um, and are those real chickens? Yeah, what do you think? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Isn't it? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So here is, is, in fact, till 2014, this was the filtration cellar. He was oh, okay. filtering beer here, uh -huh. so but we stopped with it because you see the, the ceilings and filtration is a lot of warm water and steam, so it was not very good for the working environment, it was not great for neither the, the people working here and <laughs> neither the beer, so we stopped with it. Um, but, uh, and then this was an empty place and we, we wanted to experiment a little bit, so mm -hmm. we bought mm -hmm. some... Uh, Three, va three barrels, eh? one whiskey, one rum, and one tequila barrel. Oh, the good tequila. Years. Tequila, no. The yeah. good years. Oh, yeah, maybe okay, we are in the brewer's that, cave. Also to explain what we have on tap. Sexy we have, room. Uh, we have the normal triple down verse, of course, you know it. And yeah. then we have the one of those. Yeah. But those? Right. Yes, no. one of How those. Oh. Whiskey barrel. Oh. 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 Very nice, a, a dark stout mm -hmm. beer. Uh -huh. Been there, I think, about six months. Nice. Nice. Are you ready? Yes. I rush. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh! Is it too, huh? Someone else? Me is the best that never gets too strong as whiskey. Oh, that's Oh, it smells oh, so man. amazing. This is, this is crazy. Yeah. This is the second best. Yeah, but that's very white. Oh. I smell bananas. <laughs> you? He it's likes like bananas. <laughs> it does smell like bananas. <laughs> this is a, it's a whiskey barrel. So this is aged 13 months. It's their Modesto beer. Yeah. Uh, I think that's what it's called. I'm going to have to double check that. But they age it. Um, in Claremont yeah, Springs distillery barrels for 13 months. Thank you. It's about 12% and up. 12% when it goes in there. Mm. It's yummy. Help, help, help. 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 Help,
my knees are numb. Oh, Where are my okay. knees? I know, my knees. <laughs> there, finish. Okay. That was a lot of fun going in the special cave. And now we're hitting the bar. I think we're gonna hit the bar and then we're gonna hit the restaurant. We got the special tour. It's good to make friends, people. Make friends and good things will happen. Don't be antisocial. Be social and good things will happen to you. Tastes like one of our first dates. Well, we were telling him earlier that one of our first dates was at a bar in Houston, in Texas, and we didn't, we didn't know anything about beer at the time. But it had this big, long list of beer, and we're like, we'll take that one, the Deconic. We'll take that. Oh, that's amazing! Yeah, we ordered it, we loved it, we're like, oh, that's so good. That's a great story! And that was our first beer. We were there you go. Is it super yummy? It's super yummy. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. Oh, it's really good. Mm. That's so good. I got my Deconic beer here. And I'm going to eat my steak tartare. Raw meat. Look at that. That's pretty good. Yeah. You like it? I do like it. Yum, yum, yum. That's better than the France. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. And now. Welcome to another episode of Drunk Biking in Belgium. Oh yeah, we're drunk biking. Hope we do not get in an accident. Oh, we are drunk biking in Belgium. I'm so cold. Drunk biking in Belgium. I'm not drunk. Drunk biking But I am biking. I can't wait to send that video to Selena. I feel like I'm about to hit somebody. Let me get in an accident quick. Drunk in Belgium. Drunk biking 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 in Belgium.